Alright guys, Wonder Beast here. We're doing a little bit of experiment. It is below freezing uh, this morning. First time I've really had a good below freezing temperature since I installed the lithium ions. And if you guys like any of the lithium ion battery test videos, that's kind of what we're going to be doing. Um, I just double checked both the Renji uh, DC to DC charger as well as my BMS show that it is negative temperature. So it shouldn't allow any charge coming in. Um, it's showing no current from the solar or anything else. The sun's just starting to peak up. I should be getting something. Um, so that lets me know that the temperature cutoff is working. I don't want to charge these things when it's below freezing. However, lithiums can actually be discharged when they're below freezing. You just can't charge them. So my plan coming up here in the future is to create some sort of a warming pad for them. Um, on a temperature relay so that it can utilize the, the battery power stored and then keep those batteries warm so then I can also bring power into them um, on days like this. It is extremely cold. My long-term plan is to put a secondary diesel heater. I already have the cheap Chinese air heater. If you guys followed that video, I'll put a link up here. Um, but I want to get a hydronic heater. Uh, basically, it goes in line to your coolant lines. One. I want to be able to preheat the motor. Uh, two, that's the my plan is how that's how I get hot water with maybe a power backup, a 12 volt source backup for hot water. Um, I don't want to run the inverter on some 110 thing, even though if I have all this power. And then two, you can run it through heat exchanger, which I actually do have. I planned on replacing that first one in the bus probably four years ago. So I have a heat exchanger sitting on there. So I can run the diesel hydronic heater and it's going to effectively be a backup to my air heater. What happens if that thing craps the bed? I want to have a, a backup. I also want to be able to warm my engine coolant when it's negative six degrees and I'm out in the outer desert like we were last year. So all that together, we're going to do some experimenting. What I want to see right now is that the inverter will work. I brought an extension cord in and I want to see if I can hook up the, uh, the 2000 watt inverter and run my standard engine heater that I plug into the house 110. I want to see if I can preheat the engine using that if it'll let me. So stay tuned. That's where we're going to find out. All right, a quick look just here at the BMS showing negative 1.1 Celsius. So although it doesn't have charging turned off, uh, there's no power coming in right now. It shows a zero and I'll try to screenshot that if you want, but I'm also down to like 130 amp hours. I'm about half of my capacity right now. It shows 48%. I checked the other um, battery cell and it's it's the same so both of them are about half full right now I'm not sure why that is uh, limited solar a few things been running around had the cooler on been running the diesel heater a lot um, I may even just start the diesel heater right now yeah and forgive me guys I know the audio is probably not great I don't have my microphone set up right now it got packed and uh, from my last trip and I haven't unpacked it and while it's freezing out I want to get this temperature done um, if you guys have always wondered what the diesel heater draws at the beginning. We're currently at like four amps right now. You can hear it just starting to kick on the pump and I believe it goes up to about 10 amps when the full glow plugs are fired up. All right, made it up to five amps uh, with the glow plugs, assuming it's starting its cycle now because we're down to just one with the fan blowing and the pump going. Uh, really, it's just a couple amps right now. You can hear it ramping up, but the glow plugs must be turned off because five amps is as high as we got on this BMS. All right guys, she's winding down, she's all started up, and uh, I'm just gonna let it heat up the bus, but we're under one amp just for regular operation. Uh, once it winds down, you're pretty much good to go for a while. I do have the extension cord plugged in already, so I'm just gonna see what happens. But I turn that on, and we jump up to 37 amps. Now roughly that should be 38 amps off of each battery bank, so I should be pulling 80 or something. I'll see if the smart shunt is showing anything. Well, no, smart shunt is showing 76 amps being pulled out of it right now. Uh, 970 watts, which is about right. I believe it is a, a 1000 watt heater. So this is designed to be plugged into your house to heat your engine for a half hour, hour before you need to drive it to help for cold start operation, etc. So I'm going to let this go for a little while. Um, right now, even if my battery banks are half full, the smart shun is telling me that I can run this for seven hours. So this is definitely an option right now this winter. I feel like I need to uh, 
to up my game a little bit, my winter adventures. Um, I want to have a backup. I thought about trying to get a small generator just to maybe charge batteries or even run the heater as a backup, but I feel like it's, I almost always at least have half the capacity because I have 560 amp hours in this in the bus. So even at half full, um, I can run this for seven hours. So I feel like running this for an hour and then trying to uh, start the bus is a, a good option out there in the middle of nowhere. And then once the bus is started, the alternator can then fill the batteries back up. That's kind of the goal. Um, Solar is not really an option. It helps keep things topped up, but even with 300 and what do I have 60 uh, watts up on top, um, you know, it still takes a while. I think the, the peak is around 14 amps of charging when I can put 50 amps um, in with the alternator. So right now it's still kind of calculating itself. Uh, it says I can do this for five hours now. We're at 960 uh, watts, and that's through the smart shunt. Um, Everything else should still maintain, you know, as the diesel air heater heats the air in here. My biggest worry is that it's changing the temperature sensors on my devices. So my BMS may react to the air temperature more than um, even the temperature sensor that is built into the Renogy. So if the air becomes warmer, it may allow voltage to go into the battery banks where those battery banks are very dense chemistry and I feel like they're going to hold that cold longer. So the next sort of plan uh, coming up is to get some sort of warming pad um, on a, uh, a relay trigger that uh, will basically take the energy from the lithiums and keep it warm um, and, and cycle it on and off. And so look forward to that. That'll be kind of the next iteration of my lithium. Uh, we now show three hours and 40 minutes left. Still pulling 80 amps, about a thousand watts on here. Um, batteries still show they've got you know almost half you know their power. So what we're gonna do is try to start it real quick and see if I notice any difference. Clearly I can run this for a lot longer. It's been about 45 minutes, about 40 minutes, I guess. I think I started this at 820. I might have to back up the camera and verify that, but about 40 minutes on the electric charger. Let's go turn the glow plugs and see what happens. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.